The views and opinions of this podcast are solely our own and in no way meant to offend or upset anyone. We ad lib, paraphrase and imitate to convey reviewed content only. It's a bit of a laugh. Enjoy! I'll be the last one left when the lights go out. I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now. We all fall down sometimes, yeah, but that's just life. So cross my heart and hope to die, baby, I was born to f- Fight the fear when I feel like dying I'm trying to fly high but I'm not a pilot Can't deny it There's some days I feel idiotic Just a product of a system where you're lucky just to... Sonny Yesterday my life was filled with rain Sonny Hey! <laughs> the dulcet tones of the legendary Bobby Hepner <laughs> With Sonny which is quite apt because, well, you'll see as we go on. Chris, how are you, mate? Ah, no bad, mate. I was I had to go and visit fucking sadists yesterday. Oh, oh. so you did? You were at a dentist, weren't you? Ah, your root treatment. Stabbed oh. with sharp implements. They actually burnt me yesterday, I know. I couldn't believe that when you said that. I don't, don't get that. They heated Bumped up you. a fucking piece of metal and fucking stuck it in me. <laughs> I was just, when you said they burnt me, I was imagining like a 19, well, 1850s dentist leaning there your open mouth with a fag in his mouth, <laughs> ash falling your cup on it. Uh, oh, fucking extensive work, mate. I was in there for about, what, an hour, 10 minutes? Just in there. Oh, was there was no safety words. There was no pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> Banana! Banana! <laughs> but, uh, aye, mate, that's, you've been in back and forth to Ray Bastards for the last two weeks. I've been back and forth to mine for the last two weeks, repairing yeah. dentures and the like. And it's between the two of us, I think we're fucking about six, seven hundred pounds in, mate. Yeah, exactly. But uh, hey ho, listen, guys, thanks very much for tuning in. This is series two, episode twenty-two of What's the Script in association with Tone Multimedia, um, handling all your multimedia needs, whether it's photograph, 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 <laughs> whether it's photography. Or a nice gif. You know what I mean? Get on to Tone Multimedia. He'll sort you out. He'll point you in the right direction towards himself. And he'll get whatever you need done, done. And we thank him for his support once again. So this week was my pick last week. And although I had a few in the air, I decided upon this, which is iRobot 2004, starring Will Smith and me Bridget Moynihan. Uh, among others, and to be fair, it's probably I've remembered it better than I actually thought it was this week. So, did you like watch it any time recently before the, this time, or did you watch uh, it back? No, the this day, is, as soon as you picked it, I, well, because see, I Robot was always a darling of Channel Four, Film Four, Channel Five. You know what I mean? It's like. See when the stop showing Broken Arrow on the channels, I robot right. took his place. <laughs> know what I mean? Well, but yeah. I, I don't well, remember like seeing it. Uh, it's, uh, mate, it's still all right for what it is. Obviously, things have got better. Know what I mean? But the idea of it was well done. Right. As I said to you yesterday, it's, it's quite unethical. Film into it, it's a lot, a lot of ethics in it. Um, by the way, the CGI and all that, the effects and stuff's all on point, absolutely. Just don't think there's enough of it on my second watch, but we'll get through it, mate. Um, so the film's when it's starting with the opening credits, we're kind of you don't realize right away, but you, you shouldn't find out you're kind of drowning, you know what I mean, in a car, and there's the three laws which all these robots have programmed into them they must abide by. So law number one, a robot may not injure a human being or through an action allow a human being to come to harm. Law two, a robot must obey orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. And law three, a robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second law. So basically just saying, 
Hi, we're new robots here. Mind you on fucking things that Robocop had in them. We've got them in all. <laughs> exactly. So I still like I said to you the other night, mate, it's got a lot of things from other forums in it, hasn't it? Aye, it's definitely. Just... But... So it's trying to think, but she just, was it just before this that uh, AI came out? Jude Law and Aye, I that wee boy, know. what's his name? I Haley don't know. Joel Osman. I see his dead people that Oh, <laughs> that was kind of eye opening, groundbreaking movie for its time. And uh, I felt this was a lot to do with that. As you said as well, mate, a bit of Skynet mixed Aye. in with some OCP and Murphy and <laughs> you bit of everything and a very fucking monotone moody grumpy Will Smith character aye aye it's, I don't know if it was another play on the kind of burnt out detective you know what I mean know how you aye. always get that in the noir films they're always this city's a cesspit and all that fucking malarkey you know what I mean but <laughs> it's just, uh, he just comes across quite moody all the way through it, doesn't he? Although, no, he's no without so, reason, you know what I mean? Aye, but I'm going to dissect the reasons probably right away and throughout the film because he wakes up and it's been his dream of being seen of drowning in a car and a robot coming down, but we don't know what happens. So he wakes up sweating with a fucking hat on, you know what I mean? <laughs> in his bed, a hat on and a gun in his hand. So you're obviously right away, you're like, ah, Whoa, he's had a bit of drama, that boy. <laughs> he's wanting to sleep with a gun. What's going on here? Aye. And then as he gets up and starts moving his shoulder, you can see he's noticeably had a bad injury, which he's recovering from, can't you? Yeah, he's all scarred up. And, <laughs> and this is his, his first day back to work after the summer holidays, but it looks at. <laughs> <laughs> see the house mate he's got all the windows open the sun's streaming in it looks he's sweating it looks melting he's sleeping with a fucking beanie hat on right and then he gets up right and he puts on leather trousers big leather jacket and these mad ancient converse which are the ancient but I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself now because before that he takes a shower and he takes it with a gun hanging right beside him again aye so you're like ah, what the fuck what is he expecting to happen when he's sleeping and in the shower? Ah, that's it, mate. Maybe that's... Ah, I don't know what it is because like, we're talking, like, obviously, what happened to him. It doesn't mm -hmm. suggest that he's in any danger. You know what I mean? No. Unless he's just suicidal, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what they're pointing towards. Keep this for me. All the time, <laughs> just in case. I'm for a job and take the gun with me, just in case. I'm at... oh. It's giving you a... That's what I mean. It's right away, the film's giving you a false sense of impending endangerment to his life that he's got to have a gun everywhere he goes. You know what I mean? But there you go. It just throws you right, right away. I've um, got a bit of Stevie Wonder playing and all. Very superstitious. There you go. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just, just painting, just layering superstition on you. <laughs> What a fuck it, what a baseline. But see the thing is, and all the converse, I never understood the converse trainers craze. They're fucking stupid looking shoes, and everybody that wears them always says the same thing. Oh, they're not that comfortable. Like, you, you're fucking. Oh. <laughs> you took them all right out of my mouth. They're kind of. I hark back to nostalgic 40s, 50s America, aren't they? Huh? The baseball shoe. But I've had Converse in my life, and they are they're the worst train. There's just no support in them. There's no absorbency in them. <laughs> and I, I remember wearing them once to, to work in a pub for like, I was doing a double shift. It was like 12 hours or 40 hours. My feet were killing me, man. So it's a novelty thing, mate. I think I, I remember people when they were wearing them like, Oh, I they, they cut into your feet, and I'm like, Sorry, what? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know what I mean? These mad monks I, are always fucking hurt themselves, whip themselves, not that <laughs> cutting about cut a pair of converse. <laughs> uh, what are your feet made of jelly? Uh, Jesus Christ, 
Fucking but I know man. that the soul is like that. It's like as does inmate fucking white bread. I, love that. <laughs> I mean, I we plimsolls in it. Plimsolls. Oh. I like that plimsolls. Plimsolls. <laughs> but uh, he's all chuffed with these things. He likes a bit of retro tech, and he's away down the stair. They start to shift, and he opens the door, and there's he's met right away with a FedEx robot, isn't he? Aye. Which this must be the the branding into it that of because it's all the way through this film. Obviously, Converse, GBC, FedEx. Know what I mean? It's just hey, boom. <laughs> Aye, Audi. Aye. Aye, Audi. I see again. Is Audi the 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 car of choice for every movie? Because it's like every bad guy drives Audis. Like, all the government drives Audis, and in the future we drive Audis. <laughs> well, this one was a special request by the director. Let me just uh, tell you here, if I can get it up. Hello, he said. Um, but it was, I'm not even going to find it, but it was a bespoke um, model made for the director. Uh, and it was a make or break thing for the film, apparently. No. So it was, but looks all right. So it does, uh, but it just it looks very cartoonish. Yeah. <laughs> know what I mean? Let's let's go super future. <laughs> uh, let's let's uh, let's show wheels that don't turn around and all that. Ooh. Smashing. <laughs> oh. So the Sims find out when he goes out on his way to work. Good backdrops and stuff. Good uh, CGI cinematography. I like all that. It's not overly futuristic, although. You, you very quickly see robots are doing everything for humans, Aye. walking dogs, taking out the trash, taking all the jobs, and it's Aye, only see, 2035. See, that's another thing. See, that I always notice with these like future movies and all this. Um, see, the robots, they always seem to have like, daft, menial jobs. And I just think, like, right, so see if the robots are all doing these jobs. What jobs are humans doing? You know what I mean? Because yep. you know, g- genuinely, you'd all be just sitting in the house. You <laughs> know what I mean? Well, it, Wally is a is a really in depth Disney film. I think. Excuse me, because that's what we are. We're big fat gelatinous blobs sitting in a chair, now wired to a telly screen. That's that getting fed through huh? tubes, not it? Because it's just if you think about it, obviously in this movie. It's like the computer drives the cars, drives everything. There you go. There's the robots that are delivering everything. They're walking the dogs. They work in the bars and all that. So I'm just like, ah, right. So what is left for humans to do? Know what I mean? Because oh, we're not even, not even making the robots halfway aye. through this film. You know what I mean? Aye. But um, aye, robots are doing everything. So the, it's the, the eve of the launch of the, the latest model, which is the NS5, um, and it's all the other place, it's all getting advertised, it's all you can see, and the company is called USR, which is United States Robots, and they're looking to put a robot in every house. Obviously, Dell, who's played by Will Smith, he is just super uncomfortable with the thought of this, and he's got a a real like, dislike for the AI, is not he, mate? Ah, uh, well, he's prejudiced, I'm sure he mentions a couple of times. <laughs> But makes me shy home the message. <laughs> makes me shy a bit, but didn't you? Ah, uh, it does. Ah, uh, yeah, we young man, aren't he? And which I thought was quite funny. Obviously, he's got a basketball and he shouts at him. Hang me, <laughs> Spooner, and he goes ah, <laughs> and just moves it away. You know what I mean? But I know, and Shia LaBeouf's talking like a, a young African America for the ghetto. Uh, Yo, man, it's cold, dog. It's cold, dog. <laughs> No, I mean, <laughs> but uh, he's asking for his motor, isn't he? Because he wants to impress this lassie. And I've called Will Smith's character all the way through this spooner, right? But he's just like, ah, eh, stop cussing, and you're like, ah, <laughs> I, I didn't hear a swear. <laughs> what do you mean, dog? Why, why, why am I cussing, dog? Because you're no good at it. <laughs> it's like, stop cussing my accent is what he really meant to say, you know what I mean? Aye. So but, he arrives at his GGs, didn't he? Aye, GG. <laughs> GG for the YY. <clears throat> but 
I think that's his. Is that no, his, is that his gran or something? That's his granny. But he decides to sneak in and try and get a heart attack. I, <laughs> <laughs> that must be prime real estate. This old bitch has got fucking two million in the bank. <laughs> Here I'm all wearing shitey Converse. Listen to G- GVC. Gonna get a sweet potato pie recipe off a whole bastard. <laughs> I can't even afford to heat my own house. I went on a fucking hat to bed. Aye, but old GG, without even noticing, just says, Well, yeah, yeah. As if I knew you were there. Know what I mean? Well, aye, and this, this is where you kind of find out as well that Spooner is divorced as well, isn't he? His life just went aye. right off the tracks. That old chestnut. Aye. What, what I say is, old chap. <laughs> I just the old detective in it. No, I mean he's down on his luck. He's had enough. Fucking, but he's still going to do the job because somebody has to do the job. <laughs> Yo, Captain, is my case. I work damn hard on his case. <laughs> I've been following Macintosh for four years. Oh man, but uh, he's having this mad pie, ain't he? He's right into this. What is that? What did you say it was? A sweet, sweet potato pie sweet or something? Potato pie. Uh, that's fucking. Stitchy. That's backwards. That's, doesn't it sound right? There, no. But oh. Americans are mad for pie. <laughs> He's doing it for the pie. <laughs> that means a whole different thing in Glasgow. Let me tell you. He's doing Don't it for the talk, mate. Listen, oh. me and you're sitting moaning about our teeth, right? I'm sitting. It is quarter past ten in the morning. I'm literally eating birthday cake off a Spider-Man plate. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, I'd, I'd tomato soup. That's all I'm allowed, mate. Soup. But so he looks, he's eating his pie. He takes the whole pie to work with him. And he's walking across a pedestrian walkway bridge, <laughs> rush hour, eating a pie with a spoon. Aye. And he notices uh, an NS4 running with a handbag. Mm hmm. And obviously, it puts two and two together, comes up with five. Hey, whoa, stop there, please. Whoa. Aye. Takes the robots fucking stole the bus. Aye, starts chasing us down, doesn't he? If, so yeah, hold it, my pie. Aye, says to us, just a random guy, so hold it or wear it. And you're like, ha, <laughs> you're a cheeky bastard. I'll see you in court. <laughs> know what I mean? Aye, fucking right. That pie be getting launched. <laughs> There's this mad guy stored in there. He's chasing after this fucking robot, isn't he? And the next thing, he, he catches it. And it's just... He's, he's huckling this thing, right? And there's obviously... Well, this woman hasn't gave a, a, a name, you know what I mean? But I just called her Big Mama, because she fucking... She yeah. wasn't putting up with his shit, you know what I mean? She's like, ah, puffing on this. And she's like, you're lucky I can't breathe, and I'd walk up and down your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's oh, just... What a line that is, isn't it, man? Oh, it's fucking You okay, up. madam? Yes, I'm okay. You're an asshole. <laughs> is this your puss? Of course it's my puss. <laughs> I sent my robot home for my inhaler. Oh. Do you know who she reminded me? She's the... the big overweight black woman in this bigelow. Aye, mate. Where the kick? Where the kick? Oh, mate. but see that, mate. That is, see, look, walk up and down your ass. That's just going to be the American version of I'll stick my boot up your ass. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'll good. kick the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, mate. So good. Oh, quality, but, man. By the time he gets to the precinct, it's already get back to the precinct what's happened, and the captain scolds him, didn't he? Nice. Uh, you've got to let this shit go and all that, and then there's obviously a couple of cops started making fun of him, know what I mean? Because Aye. in the history of robots being about, none have ever committed a crime, know what I mean? That the Aye. the chief starts doubting him, didn't he? Maybe you've came back too soon for your fucking incident, Norris. And it's just, Aye. again, it's like every fucking cop that's made a mistake, it's like, are you sure? Are you sure you've came back? Like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> I'm telling you, mate, we, we should have been polis. You see, see your see police chiefs, captains, and they can't, they can't gear enough holdies away. 
Uh, I think you should just take some time <laughs> off, full pay and all that, just as long as you need. I mean, you put a hold in, you'll need to chase. Hello, uh, I in for a hold in nine months ago. Uh, even if you're for, even if you you need to get, oh, yeah, we're going to suspend you with pay. <laughs> aye, um, oh, the deprivation. Aye, will I ever cope? Can you imagine that being a copper? Oh, so you're mean, you're saying I'm suspended with pay, so I don't need to go out and get shot at. Okay. Well, Aye. I understand your judgment. <laughs> and I still take my badge and my gun home with me. Aye. Just to use, you know what I mean? That's another thing, by the way, but you must become attached to your badge. You see every time, like, I'm going to need your badge. And you're just like that. <laughs> 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 oh. But we get to USR, because um, Dell. Or Spooner, as you say, I've just because I've wrote it down as Dell because it's shorter. <laughs> um, he's been phoned by Dr. Lanning mm-hmm. to come to USA right away. It's an emergency, aye. Uh, and this is this is where you see. I just I, his name's landed in this, but I couldn't remember his name to begin with, so I just put down the farmer from Babe. <laughs> he's talking to the farmer from Babe's hologram. <laughs> oh, just that. Good pig. Good pig. <laughs> I can't stand it. Body films, man, are shocking. Beep. Um, oh, come on. Started... Oh, That's come what we're on, doing next week. All. <laughs> are we? I. I'm doing my hair next week. <laughs> I just talking to him, oh. and it's very soon you realise the one of his answers. Oh, hold on a minute, it's not real. He's a, a programmer, a hologram. Aye. He says, I'm only uh, programmed to answer certain questions. You'll need to ask another one. Aye. And it's really good the way it goes beside and behind them and you can see it's a hologram. It's really good, man. Yep. Aye. And that's, that's when you actually see that the real scientist is actually lying deep behind this hologram in it. But... Considering the height he fell. Ah, he's, he's, he's put together well, that boy. <laughs> his head's kind of intact, you know what I mean? Aye. But oh. uh, he's dead. He's obviously had a bit of history with Spooner as well. They kind of know each other, and that's the reason why I called him. But Aye. we don't know why yet. So Dale goes up to meet Robertson, Dr. Robertson, who's a second in command. Aye. Who I've just changed. very half with him. And, Aye. Uh, who I've taken to call Elon Musk. All the way through this. Because he's got money. Well, yeah, he's got he's got money and he's a mad inventor. Well, see you later on as our own. I changed a uh, farmer from Babe to Steve Jobs. You know what I mean? Because they're very... <laughs> well, your Elon Musk is my Captain Pike. Uh, for the Star Trek films. But uh, I so Dale's very off with him, very smammy and underhand, oh look, uh, it's the richest guy in America uh, and he gives him like, the smallest coffee in the world so I'm taking it that caffeine and sugar are a rich man's game in the future because he says, can I get anything with ice sugar? And he takes about nine spoonfuls of this tiny wee baby spoon didn't he man? Aye. Well remember that's why they're making sweet potato pie remember that's the sweetness there you see <laughs> but <laughs> Sugar tax get fucking outrageous. <laughs> Those outra- no outrageous is the price of two beers, which is coming up shortly. <laughs> I'll tell you that, man. <laughs> so, uh, Dell's making comments to this Robertson guy about, like, I've got a new slogan for you, you know that? USR, shitting on a little guy. That's it. But it says, it says to him as well, isn't it, that that's why did the hologram ask for me specifically? Because it was practically contact Dell Spooner. What a name is Dale Spooner. That's mental with that. But I it's this See, is where London, London Dale shot for Derek, obviously, but I don't know what it is in America if it's the same thing. Uh, but um I uh, starts saying you st- it starts to reveal that Spooner doesn't like robots at all. And it, this is where you actually kind of first see the glimpse of it, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> like, he's saying to him all that about so who, who does all their jobs now, you know what I mean? Where are all these people that done their jobs? And 
and then that Robertson just does the typical rich guy thing. Like, oh, let me guess. <laughs> One of the robots took your father's job. Oh, oh. that old bastard. Oh, but but Calvin with... comes in to save the day, uh, who's played by Bridget Moyer, and he says, look, Dr. Calvin will take you about and show you whatever you want to see, you know that. That's right, vagabond. <laughs> yeah. Riff, riff. You know what I mean? But, aye. They're talking in the lift, didn't they? And it just, it's just a wee back and forth sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah, so, just straight away. She's look, she says she's the, she's employed to make the robots more human because she's a psychologist. And it goes, well, let me ask you this as a psychologist. Do you think Dr. Lanning was suicidal? And she says, no, not at all. No, for when I spoke to him. Mm -hmm. uh, she says, but people change and stuff. See, for the get go, when I first watched this film, I was like, ah, she's a robot. <laughs> well, you think That's... it was going to, what? Oh, you, oh, you have no seen Blade Runner, I think, you know? I've seen it. Have you? Really? I've seen the two of them. I fell asleep with the latest one, right enough. Ah, the second one's, the second one is not so happy. <laughs> First one's not so happy, mate. I can, I can get behind all the innovative cinematography and CGI and stuff like that, but I'm just, I don't pull my trousers down and fiddle with myself because of it, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't get it. Wait, well, I'm just wait, going bored wait. with that crowd, man. You just, you just can't, you just kind of go, you kind of brush past that. You mean to tell me if you, if you really like something, it's just trousers down. <laughs> Oh, I was in Shazam last night. Tell oh, you. I fucking bet you were. Ah, oh, Shazam. Shazam. <laughs> I'll be why the cleanup took so long the last time. But I don't know. <laughs> but, <laughs> there you go. Right, right on to the sperm you like there. But um, this is <laughs> this is the other thing that I know that there's a a central like computer system into it, like this AI thing that runs the whole shebang. And it's called Vicky. Aye, Vicky. Aye. Aye. <laughs> but... So, right away, big plot hole in this fucking film, right away. Okay, Vicky, run back the security footage from the time of Lanning's death. I'm sorry, there appears to be file corruption. Red light. But he fucking lets it go. Just lets it go. Aye. Do you know what I mean? It's really weird, man. But she is, as you said, mate, she is the the central brain, isn't she? For the full company and every single robot that's out there, she's sending the the programs. Aye, she's the, she's the Alexa in this film. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like you said, there's no, there's no CCTV. Well, I just kind of caught this like the second time when like, I'm watching it, you know what I mean? Why there's no CCTV in there? And it's I think it's made to the point that Landon has disconnected it. You know what I mean? He doesn't let himself be monitored. Aye, aye. Aye. Because... Whereas before, I thought Vicky had just deleted the footage. You know what I mean? Aye, you're right, mate. That's a good. Uh, that's a very good point because part of Vicky's well, I don't want to spoil it. Well, this would have been beneficial for him to have seen what Sonny done. Aye. So why would she keep it? Ah, you're right, mate. I never thought of that. Well done. As I like that. You're quite clever when you want to be a wee bastard. <laughs> uh... So he goes into the lab, Lanning's lab, and it's just, you can see that the doctor guy's been, <laughs> the doctor guy, you can see he's been living, like, out his lab. He's got a uh -huh. bed set up and all that and some trash, and um, it's just full of spare parts and a copy of Hansel and Gretel, and then the big hole in the window. Aye, that's it. And they... Calvin, she's just sitting nattering away at stuff, isn't she? And very robotic, like aye. And Earl Spooner, he's just walking about and just surveying things like a detective and all that. But this is a good bit, I know that just I know he says to her later on, she's one of the dumbest smart people which he's ever met, right? But he picks up this stool and hits this glass, and it doesn't go through because it's like safety glass, and he's just like, well. It'd be highly unlikely that an old man could throw himself through this glass, eh? And she's like, well, he finds a way. <laughs> Sorry, what? What? Are you the reason they put do not don't do not drink on fucking bleach balls? Are you serious? What do you mean he fun away? Fucking. 
Was he suicidal? No, not at all. How did he get through that windy? Pound away. I <laughs> found his way to being Fuck. suicidal and oh. Just quoting fucking they mad stupid quotes you get for the house. Love finds a way. Oh fucking did it, aye. <laughs> and then she says, right, Earth Tech and goes, What was the point of doing that? Um, if there's no escape. And he goes, because I think maybe the killer's still here. Mm-hmm. Aye, and then it's just... a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's preposterous. <laughs> but uh, you're right. I just got up to a pile of robot parts, didn't he? And just reset eyes open. <laughs> jump right out. <laughs> Slow Aye. motion, man. I kick it's a gun at his horn for good measure. <laughs> but that's Aye. indeed, mate. Just this, uh, this robot lands into it and it looks a bit spooked. And she obviously does, what is it? Fucking deactivate, deactivate. Power, uh, deactivate. And it stops and all that. But Spinner's still no. Oh, no, I, I don't trust you. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> there's just something about you. And Aye. that's true enough, isn't it? The robot reactivates it's itself, isn't it? Aye. Aye. But, and reactivates itself, takes a gun, and then he's got another one, shoots at it, does forward rolls and flips and shit, and dives right out the hole in the windy. Mm-hmm. And um, really good, that. I like the way it lands, and fucking big cracks in the flare, and then everybody stops and looks at the crack going up the stairs, <laughs> as if, holy shit. <laughs> aye, aye. Plus, it's been clipped around it with a bullet. That's, it's, it's injured, it's injured. <laughs> <laughs> it's got it's the yellow ring of death. <laughs> Aye. Aye. Arnold Clark, my Christ! But <laughs> the next time, <laughs> he'll find a trail anyway. Aye, finds this trail at all. Anyway, forgot. It. Right, Sonny's jumped out this windy, right? Which is what thirty odd, thirty nine oh, floors. Oh, mate, as, this was last night. I know, mate. I was like, ah. so long as it taking Dell to get down there. Aye, but he runs out. Through the lobby, down the stairs, into the into the street, goes, please. I. <laughs> it's so Sonny's about nine miles down the road. Clipped them all. <laughs> oh no, mate! It's just oh, mate! It's just I. I was laughing at it last night. I'm going, why? Why have you ran down the stair? Know what I mean? Just shouting, police. I mean. This is it's, it's practically a, a fucking a car. You know what I mean? It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> why, why have all these robots not been fitted with fucking trackers? Aye. Why is there not a tracker? Why is <laughs> CCTV knowing every bloody inch of this city Aye. that he can just call up his captain who doesn't believe him and say, look at CCTV. <laughs> all right, I believe you now. Let's follow this robot. <laughs> no. Just to take half an hour running down the stairs. Oh. <laughs> Please. Bye. But uh, Calvin says to him, it's, it's got to get itself repaired. It's in the leads them to this assembly factory, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> da-da, da-da. It's not going to hide or nothing. It's got to go and get itself repaired. <laughs> <laughs> at this one place. Oh, mate. It's superb, man. But this is when it's you think. Audi. And obviously traffic goes about three times the speed it does today, I suppose, didn't it? And he says to car, manual, manual, mo. <laughs> she looks at him and goes like that. You crazy? She's like, she's like talk to Elsa. What between them? Are you crazy? <laughs> oh, did you like the school the boy? <laughs> nice. Was rather wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, that was that was fun. That. So, so he's <laughs> so he's driving. No bother at three hundred mile an hour, and um, they eventually get to the manufacturing plant. Aye, and the whole thing's automated, isn't it? And it's just she, she's got a. Uh, there's uh, absolute no human contact uh, with uh, the building process and all this. No I mean? COVID in here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, knee sickness. <laughs> We're on a, a tight ship, not a shite tip. 
But, <laughs> but he's just like, oh, robots, building robots in it. And again, right to my head last night, I was like, Terminator. <laughs> this is Terminator. We're coming to Terminator. Aye. Except they say machines building machines, didn't they? That's that's the line in the film there. Aye. Machines building machines. Mm. <laughs> the it... machines, the machines no build cars and shit. The new, what I mean. Aye, but aye, but these robots that are all what, assembled, sort of thing. They are they're just shells, aren't they? They've only got the three laws programmed into them. So they don't. About, man. Aye. <laughs> There should be, there should be a thousand of them, shouldn't there? Aye. But she, she does what everybody does in futuristic films. They go to a keypad that looks fucking so complicated and just goes, <laughs> and Aye. sees that there's a thousand and one there. Aye, but a, a factory that there's absolutely no human contact at all. Know what I mean? Like, you look like that mad salt bay there. <laughs> Oh, but I, she founds it that there's a uh, thousand and one robots. There's one here at Disney Belong. You're like, oh, no shit. Oh, my favourite bit's coming up shortly, but before that, she shouts at robots. <laughs> there is one of you that's out of formation. Where is he? And they all just shout, one of us, one of us. <laughs> oh, mate. The girl says, yo, man, yo, bitch, lady, man, I'm going to interrogate these motherfuckers. The old ways, the old ways. <laughs> she just, she's going to start sticking it in robots' faces. Uh, robots I mean, are just looking at them. Uh, I mean, but a police brutality there. <laughs> no. Oh. No. I couldn't wonder how much money these things cost, you know what I mean? But. He shoots man, didn't he? Gives man double tap right in the right in the mush, man. Down Aye. it goes. I it's, it's kind of a good a... tactic. You know what I mean? Because he does say to them, Nanny's move. <laughs> Obviously, he shoots that. Which is my best bit because we sunny kicks it. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. We know what it's keeping. Uh, it's just that. Did you see that guy? He just killed a guy. <laughs> but that was that. Oh. Earl Spooner starts to give chase. And he shouts at Calvin, get the hell out of here. What what fucking difference does that make? No. It's... Yo, man, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> but uh, Sonny goes missing again. And then... I don't know who he is, but I don't know where he is. <laughs> King Wally. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> oh. Well, you come see me no. <laughs> oh, but, it's been said in the bones. Uh, it's, it's, uh, I'm not gonna. St- but why does it? Why is he throwing chicken bones? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, but, so good. Look, he's King Wally, man. He can do it fucking much. That's it. But Sonny jumps out on top of him, and then he's he's asking Will. Will he's asking Del, what am I? You know what I mean? Aye. escapes and brought down and all that kind of stuff but, Aye. but see, again, back to this another thing I was laughing at this super duper state of the art robot is taken down by a net <laughs> and it just again just reminded me of a film get, get out of this thing <laughs> oh no man oh. no oh. Because when it busts through, I like I like the way it pulls the the shutter doors apart and gets it, and then it starts sleeping for bits of building to bits of building like a fucking cheater or something. Aye, but as you yeah. say, net brings him down. Oh mate! And then after that, he's extremely compliant. After that, you know what I mean? Aye. He's doing everything he can to get away, but when you see him in custody, there on after. He's no in shackles or he's no getting held by the robots. He's just, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I told the Italian, did he? <laughs> hey, uh, uh, oh. hey, get my lawyer, you fucking paluka. <laughs> so the captain, after all this, 
still not convinced. Um, you know what I mean? And Dell's like, look, let me in for five minutes. Just let me talk to him. Five minutes. Five is is my suspect. Mm. Which we find out it can be a suspect. It can be a murder, or it can be a victim because you know a person. You know what I mean? Aye. Um, but Captain lets him in, and he does say to him before that that mad wee line about. Uh, maybe we'll get back to the old days when people start killing people again. You know yeah. what I mean? Aye, then. It doesn't make you... sense. Aye. Because obviously people are still killing people. There's no robots killing people yet. Aye, exactly. Right. But he gives, he gives the captain a wee wink, doesn't he? A wee, a wee sign of trust. Because Sonny obviously asks him, what, what does this mean? You know what I mean? This. Aye. And Spooner tells him, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's already different for other robots, you know what I mean? To be asking oh, that aye, question. It refers to Dr. Lanning, his father. Aye. My father. Aye. It's just... Is it and they said, why did you run? Aye, aye. Why did you run? He went, because I was frightened. What? How can aye. you be frightened and all that? And he says he has dreams and shit, doesn't he? Aye, that's it. He's like, I've got... It's kind of revealed to Spooner that this robot's got feelings and it's got dreams, you know what I mean? And obviously, and it's also get fucking a, a right good dollop of sarcasm aye. because when Dale starts giving him the pish about can you write a symphony, can you write a poetry, can you get a blank canvas and paint a masterpiece, and he just goes like that. Can you, mate? Can you do it? <laughs> I don't know, mate. But it's just Spinner's just like his prejudices, he's a robot is just a hunk of metal, fucking lights and wires, not us. All this shit you're talking about doesn't exist. What are you talking about? Not I mean. Whereas if it was made open, it would be dis- discovered things a bit sooner. Exactly. But, but he's pushing Sonny in. Aye. Sonny ends up losing his temper, mate. Aye. Eventually, God's amount of getting angry, didn't he? To get an angry reaction at him. But again, Spooner should have been sitting there like that. So you you can get angry then, eh? Not I mean. But it doesn't aye. it's just I have you had to uh, assimilate anger before? And I'm like, uh, why the fuck would why would a robot assimilate anger? Know what I mean? It's just I Spooner's very Sith like he's dealing in absolutes. <laughs> no thinking about the here and the now. Why is why did he get an emotional response to that? Why did he do that stuff? Aye. But Sonny Sonny talks about favour and love. And then Robertson shows up, obviously. Uh, for the USR, didn't he? That's aye, my just, robot. Aye. Can't have tried. Aye. It's just... Puts a gag in order on that on the pause, isn't it? That this robot isn't a murderer or anything. It's just a case of industrial accident, and it? Because it's a machine. And it will just be fucking destroyed. It'll be di- diagnosed, and then it'll be destroyed. Like most things. You're like, oh, how callous of you. <laughs> We'll give you the fucking the results as, as we see fit to. Aye. But this is when we get to this pub, and it? Kathy? It's a cafe. <laughs> but they're having beer in. So much as much as the beer. <laughs> Two beers. Well, he's having a beer himself, then the captain comes in, tries to play the I'm still your pal kind of fucking thing. You know what I mean? But you've got to be. Uh, got to be wise up, you've got to do this right and all that, so Dell buys my beer, and then he goes to leave, and he swipes to pay for the two beers, and for two beers it's $46.50 for two beers and then he's like, I'm going to go home and have a beer first thing you would think is, maybe he had more beers no, no it says, the, the computer says two beers $46.50 <laughs> please know what I mean Oh, that's horrific. <laughs> Sometimes you're better being lucky than being smart. Aye. That was his line before he before he paid for the beers. Aye, but that's that as well. Spooner's also saying to him that he thinks Elon is destroying Sonny a bit quick, isn't he? That like he's he's wanting rid of this thing, know what I mean? Like a cover up. And yes. then obviously that's when the chief says to him, Sometimes you're better better being lucky, know what I mean? And that's when it kind of twangs in his head that land and picked him. That's my big line director. Hello, director. That's my big line. Can I say the thing? Can I say it now? Aye. But he goes to 
Lanning just into and this is probably Aye. one of my favourite bits in the whole film. Aye. He gets to his mansion, doesn't he? And he sees this demolition robot it's scheduled for 8pm. He's like, oh, I've got plenty of time here. <laughs> and there's questions behind that. It's, it's a fucking mansion. It's fully kitted out. With all sorts, you know what I mean? Aye. And it's been scheduled for demolition the next day. What, you know, empty the house or put it in the market or just demolishing houses now. That's it. Aye, there's no recycling in the future in 20, whatever the fuck this is. You know what I mean? Very strange, man. Very but, strange. But obviously it's just, it's all about leading up to a good, expensive CGI scene. You know what aye. I mean? But, but you notice he's... Sorry. I, I, Vicky's in this house as well, isn't she? You can see the... Obviously, the, the house is monitored by Vicky, which is another, mm-hmm. hey, hey. <laughs> it's then you see the cynicism with Vicky because he just looks up. It's, Vicky's like a blue strip in it. Aye. And as he notices it, it shows you, from Vicky's point of view, her noticing him, noticing her. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when she changes <laughs> the, the AM to a PM on the demolition robot. Aye. And it's fucking pretty damn good. Aye. But there's a, there's a cat there as well, wasn't it? We Landon's VP cat. And he's Spooner's in the middle of talking to it. Oh, you're a cat, I'm black, and I've been hurt before, Norris, and you're like that. Oh. What? But then the next thing, this big fucking demolition robot comes in, doesn't it? And just starts oh, getting at the full milky. <laughs> <laughs> and to describe this robot, is like the the things again in Terminator that are on the kind of tank wheels, isn't it? Isn't it? They're just Aye. two big arms, and it's just clawing this first to bits, man. Yep. But as he's running to get away, flares falling away from underneath him, the ceiling's coming down. It's it's done pretty well, I like it. Yeah, no, it's good, mate. Uh, it was always the big, it was a big showpiece, wasn't it? Know what I mean? Until the exit. <laughs> until the exit for the house. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> Wait, it was just so oh dear. But as he's running through this house to run for the door, he sh- shoots the hinges, doesn't he? he? shoots the hinges on the door and he scoops up this wee cat and he drop kicks this door and rides the door to safety like a fucking surfboard on a wave. <laughs> it's very <laughs> fucking... That's the pure green screen moment. I know the one in the film, you're like, whoa, that's fucking poor. Uh, also, I've not looked at the gaffes in this, right? But physics would suggest to me when he went into the front of the house, the robot thing was sitting outside the front of the house. Uh, but he escapes for the front of the house with the big demolition robot at the back of the house because uh, his car's out front. Uh, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? The robot big thing has went all the way around this mansion undetected to start for the back. No, I don't um, think so, mate. mate. I think it was about a faux pas there. Oh. Uh, Aye. Surfed, he surfed the front door out the fucking building. <laughs> oh, it's so bad, man. <laughs> the next thing he does is go to Dr. Calvin's house, who he only met that day, and Aye. walk in and start pouring himself whiskeys and shit. <laughs> Do you like cats? What? what? You creepy bastard! He just shot to my house. Do you like cats? Ah, I, I need a drink. Bleeding for the heat. You know what I mean? That's not a fucking nut job thing to do. Oh. <laughs> so it's any day he divulges his thoughts behind Doctor Lanning's plan. That I think he was trying to tell me something. He's left a trail of breadcrumbs. A fun book. This is what made me think she was a robot and all when he says hands on Gretel. She's like, oh, what? What's that? What's hands on Gretel? Aye. Like, fucking trailer bread come to that, but... Aye. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then... He says as well, I was at his house and it, uh, that looked like it hadn't been there in months. And he starts to think he was being monitored by uh, the USR. He thinks he's being monitored through the security system and all this thing. And she's like, oh, I don't think so. Uh, I think you're grasping at straws, son. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't know about that. It's quite important to me. But uh, he's got it and he's heeded it's Robertson. It's this 
second in command who would probably benefit from Lanning's death and being the head honcho and all that, blah, blah. <laughs> um, and they talk about Dr. Lanning's day in his last speech when he talks about ghosts in the machine, mm. which is quite an apt saying, actually. It's fucking decades old. Aye. But Dale asks for her help. Then he basically says, look, I really need your help. She still refutes. And then that's when he says, you know, you are the dumbest smart person I know. Aye. Plus, that's what he says as well. Um, a demolition fucking machine just crashed a house with me inside it. And she's like, impossible, impossible. That could never happen. And he's like, oh, see you. I'm going to fucking karate kick you in the chin soon. But it's just... He makes a beat, doesn't he? Like, aye. Aye. Because he says to her, he says, you're just like a fucking robot head. <laughs> and they actually care about you. And he flings a photo down to her and landing because he managed to save that as well as the cat. That aye, and she mean. just starts, tiny bubbles. <laughs> Memories in the corner of my mind. <laughs> so it's a new day. Oh, Jim. And he wakes up just like he does at the start. <laughs> wakes up just like he did at the start of the film, didn't he? His wee Aye. hat on and he's sweating bed and all that. He's just had the same dream about drowning. Maybe he's still sore in the shooter area, I know. <laughs> See when he wakes up, he wakes up with his gun again, right? And he goes like that, get out of my head. And you're just like, why you no know, do that? <laughs> That's what I mean. Get out of my <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Oh, do, you know what, do you know what really gets my anxiety up, mate? See how and, and all these fast films we've watched for decades, when the hero puts the, the gun down the front of our trousers. Oh, mate. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's a film that's done that, and I can't remember what it is. They, they stick it down uh, the front, and they go bang, and they go, oh! And then they stick it down the back, and it goes bang. That's right, I man. What, what is that? Oh, I, know, I can't remember. But as he, he heads so out to the new the, day. Aye. Delivery aye, day for the new, new robots in it. Lunch day in it. Aye. And it's fucking sad because all the ENS fours are <laughs> bottom. Aye. They're getting replaced. They're like a red five. <laughs> Nobody loves me anymore. <laughs> Uncle Alan. <laughs> yeah. It's not two of you got a bad motivator. <laughs> Hey, why are you trying to pawn us here? <laughs> Little bastard Java C. Oh, TV. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. What about that one? Look. What about the blue one there? Look. <laughs> oh. See, if I had an issue, it loves him, it shouted him like that. <sighs> Fucking right here, look. I'm only here. Bye. Shouting at me for. <laughs> for the next second, Spooner goes in to see Gigi, didn't he? And talking about how he likes this pie and all this stuff, and she just sits there all crafty. So you like the pie, eh? <laughs> like the I pie, do you? The moustache. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, uh, you can come out just now. Like, just this big robot <laughs> stoops in. Hello, Dr. Spooner. Was <laughs> I don't do I? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, detective. It's quite funny. See, when I found out it was um, your man, Steve the Pirate, that done the voice Wait. for Sonny. Oh. <laughs> That's Spooner. <laughs> These cookies are so good. <laughs> Love you, PH. <laughs> and modest too. Oh, oh dear. Oh. I was very I was very surprised when I found out it was Steve the Pirate who done the voice for Sonny. Okay. Uh, I thought it would have, I thought it was a uh, oh Niles for fucking Fraser. All oh, right. Now he done name. Sideshow Mel. Aye. Can't remember his name. You guys know who I'm talking about, but there we go. It was uh, Steve the Pirate done it, <laughs> whose name again escapes me. Oh. But 
I saw the robot spread the pie. <coughs> and Gigi puts breadcrumbs in Del's hand before he goes. Mm. And he's like, oh, you're a, you're a genius, breadcrumbs. Aye. No, does he put them in his hand, Craig? She puts it in his head. <laughs> Aye. That's when, that's when you kind of find out that Landon helped Spooner as well. They, know what I mean? She's like, he gave me my baby back. Know what I mean? You're like, oh, aye, aye. <laughs> Good pig. But. <laughs> I want my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby, my baby back. <laughs> Bibs. Aye. But Spooner starts following Landon's breadcrumbs, doesn't he? He's watching all the old videos and stuff. And he's like, oh, I think it's Landon's at a, like a conference of some kind, isn't it? And he starts saying, Aye. soon they'll have uh, secrets, soon they'll have dreams. You know what I mean? And it's like, mm-hmm. do do do. That's a bit freaky, by the way. <laughs> Will they have vaginas? Will they have them? <laughs> <laughs> Made the boy, they got them. Oh, I've actually, I've actually got something to tell you. I'll tell you when we're done. It's one of the best things ever. Oh, I doubt you have greater knowledge on that subject. <laughs> So, hey. They walk in on Sunny, didn't they? And he's sleeping. Oh, sorry, I was dreaming. Aye. 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 It's... Aye, she's starting to doubt, isn't she? She's starting to go, ah, oh, he's this this robot's a bit fucking freaky. You know what I mean? because he asks her out right, he says they're gonna kill me, aren't they? And every time he talks, it's just tugging another one of her heart strings. She's like, Oh, oh my hair! Oh my hair's rusted, Sonny. After the the body of what? Oh, Thank you. <laughs> May I've got a belly of robots in there. <laughs> Gonna go mental. Oh my hair! Oh Jesus! <laughs> All that, all that conversation. Sonny's showing free will and emotion and empathy, sympathy, showing everything, and she's just about to burst into tears, man. And then she's getting these nanites, and she's going to stick them in the back of his head to erase his memory. But just before the end of the scene, before you see it happening, she goes, <laughs> looks at the spare parts of robots. Aye. I have a cunning plan. Okay, Aye, Baldrick. she goes all Baldrick. <laughs> really but, Baldrick. But Spooner's on his car, isn't he? And he's asking for uh, access to the restricted files at USR, isn't he? And then... Asking oh, Vicky. Aye. And goes through to... Who do you call him? Big Elon Musk in the big tower. He's like, ah, fucking persistence, eh? Persistence! Vicky grasses him. She's in a tunnel. Vicky <laughs> grasses him. Uh, the car's driving itself. He starts to get all chilled and relaxed and sits back, doesn't he? Aye. And then all these... the while, these big robot carrying fucking aye transports. Like, ah, that's what I like. A big, like a big Jawa sand crawlers, aren't they, man? Aye. Except they go about three hundred mile an hour on big balls. <laughs> big balls. <laughs> <laughs> you got them big balls, man. <laughs> You need that's some deep life. <laughs> so, <laughs> these big transports are moving run about his car in a sinister kind of fashion. Just in time for him to open his eyes. And the one that's blocking off his escape route opens up and then the robots just all their chests all turn red. Aye. And then they just start <laughs> well, before the first man jumps at his car he goes. Oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, they all just start leaping on his motors, don't they? They start attacking. And then it's like the, the first one, it busts through the windshield, didn't it? It goes, uh, you're experiencing a car accident. <laughs> it's, oh, uh, I'm a shite. <laughs> <laughs> it, I am not, robot. I think you'll find you've got something to do with that. Aye, but... So he switches to manual, didn't he? Aye. Don't yeah. escape these robots and all that, and he's fighting them off, isn't he? It's just as action sequences go, it's it's pretty decent. You know what I mean? Because the ones that are getting caught under the wheels and all that, and getting scraped and blow up and explode, it's, it's yeah. really well done, man. Really good. 
I suppose if you're being a picky bastard, these accurate robots all start jumping at his car, but they only land on the bonnet area. Mm. You know what I mean? Nate, Nate, Nate goes right through his windshield and does them in, but hey ho. The but, car starts spinning like a maniac, doesn't it? Aye, it just starts, aye, because he clips the... See, right, I'll get, I'll get to this next bit anyway, but his car clips the wall, doesn't he, and he just starts spinning through the air because the, the tunnel kind of parts, doesn't it? Into two mm-hmm. ways, and then one of the big transports crashes and blows up and all that carry on. But he clips the side, and like you say, the car starts spinning, you know what I mean? And comes to a, a grinding halt. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, it comes to a grinding halt because the two trucks explode, didn't they? In Aye. the background, man. But then these wee robots talk about and they start picking away all the evidence eh, that there was an attack, which is fucking crafty. But you just Aye. you just think, oh, they're just there to get rid of all this stuff to make sure the road's safe to carry on, but but he's That's really well done. Aye. He he's lying there, isn't he? Concussed, spitting up blood and all this stuff. And then he's <laughs> look again, looks at his converse that like, covered in oil and he's like, Oh aye, oh aye, bastards. <laughs> you're just like, sorry, you just nearly died. A robot tried to kill you and you're you're concerned about the shitest train he ever conceived. Oh aye. I've, I've wrote there. Dale's visibly shook. <laughs> because his trainers are ruined. <laughs> so the next thing you know, he just hears a creaking noise for his car. It's Aye. wrecked and it just flings itself over. Well, it flings itself straight at him, doesn't it? Aye, tries to crush him. And he moves out the road. Aye, and it Aye. just it just goes full Terminator for him here, doesn't it? It just... <laughs> this robot's coming after him. Uh, he's trying to get away from it and it's thrown... See, again... We spoke about this, mind, and um, the robots are always throwing humans about. They never go, oh, here, I'm going to punch through your fucking skull and get this here and done with. No, I mean, they just, Aye. hey, <laughs> I've, I've always Aye. wanted one of these. <laughs> you go to, because, again, in Terminator, in this, it's a prime directive. It's a prime directive. Your mission, you're programmed to terminate that person's life. So you'd do it, didn't you? Uh, Any machine would do it, you know what I mean? But you just say, hey, <laughs> <laughs> it's ragdoll you a bit. <laughs> but then it's, Spooner picks up this big piece of metal, didn't he? he? Tries to take out this robot and it eventually it gets it off him, doesn't it? And this is when it's revealed that Spooner actually has a prosthetic arm. You know what I mean? Winter soldier, isn't he, man? Aye. You bucky. Uh, Black Bucky. <laughs> Black Bucky. <laughs> Black Buckfast, is it? <laughs> but, but, aye, that's when he goes, aye, I see, I've got one of these, and he just starts punching holes in the pavement and all this. He goes, full funny, Terminator. Funny noticeable thing about this, see when it's revealed about his arm, this, like, drone robot that's no sunny goes, oh. <laughs> 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 A scooby doo woman. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. With the phone, man. <laughs> I don't know what's here, man. Oh. But, oh, but, but the robot hears the sirens coming, doesn't it? And then it does something that is, again, I didn't think about it, but at the end, it's good again. I mean, it just runs and throws itself in the fire. To get ready any evidence that there was an attack. And you're going, that's no bad. Though. I could have done that. I know. I could not self terminate. <laughs> Aye. But, but no, but Terminator, Terminator one. and Terminator One when the police arrived, ran Aye. away. <laughs> Aye, super. Gets that Jedi running speed. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. So, uh, you're right, mate. It's good the way you just. I am evidence I must destroy myself right into the fire, man. Aye. Superb. And sooner, sooner or later, the, the chief arrives, didn't he? And there's Spooner getting, I'm fine. I'm f- no, I don't think you're fine, son. <laughs> if anything, you have crashed at 500 miles per hour 
and you've landed upside down, nothing about you should be fine. You know what I mean? Exactly. Fucking. Exactly, mate. You stub your toe and it just, ah! <laughs> Being a, a family guy. Ah! <laughs> You know what, son? Give your badge. You'll make me do this. You, this is all you. Uh, You'll make me do this, hey. <laughs> Cheerful. I just see that at all, man. Turn in your badge. He's like, oh. and your gun. And your sidearm. Like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> and your wallet. And no. your condoms. <laughs> and then. And a need scene within this scene is him walking away and just shouting like a wee boy at two Polish. Eh, I look like I care about you two things. Eh, yeah. Keep my wife's name in your mouth. But, <laughs> but it's, just, it's just unnecessary, isn't it? Like, I, you do look like a fucking moon fruit, son. You know what I mean? You're just lying there. Like, and then that's when he says, go and look in the tunnel. And he's like, I just came through the tunnel. Which I was going to say to you earlier, but why is the tunnel no CCTV up? Know what I mean? I mean, we, we've literally got that nowadays. Know what I mean? So why not then? There's a distinct lack of camera footage in this world. <laughs> that, um, Sun, it's, it's found out then that Sonny has no uplink to the USA Aye. and he also has a heart. Because she's opens his heat, sees that it's more unique. Also, sees that he's got thicker kind of armor. Alloy. Alloy, sorry. And when his heart comes out, she's like, "What the fucking? What the actual <laughs> is going on here, <laughs> Sonny boy? Hi, hi. You're unique. <laughs> I am unique. <laughs> but this time, Dale's back at her spraying his arm with. Spray on skin, Aye. which is pretty damn impressive. Aye, ah, it was and quite Calvin good. That arrived, part. didn't she? Aye. Aye, she shows up to tell Spooner that Sonny has free will. You know what I mean? And you're just like, oh well, that's not bad. That <laughs> anyway, see that Sonny? Oh, I tell you, <laughs> oh, what a boy, what a boy. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, I've written the boy. <laughs> but then, and this is an, again another bit I had an issue with it, right? So Spooner goes to get dressed or whatever the fuck it is. And then Dr. Calvin starts have, having like, issues with old tech. And I'm like, well, you when they brought up running about buttons, you don't know what the fuck buttons are. I know. And, it's and, only that, 2035, man. Uh, they're and literally looks, labelled power, play, stop. <laughs> what? Just throws herself at it. What? Fucking mad Sydney with the phone. <laughs> uh, and th- this is where she notices him with shut off and he's got the scar. And that's when she becomes a. Can I touch it? Do you mind? <laughs> So I have a fucking mind. I get poked and prodded like an alien, know what I mean? I'm a real boy. <laughs> Just fucking. Oh. But I mean, super duper scientist. I've not seen this kind of technology and all that to go on. Oh, hey, where's that power button? Um, how, how do you switch this off? <laughs> what? It's a bit stupid, isn't it? Aye. Well, oh, come Just on. See how somebody that is of age. Isn't as integrated with our own history. Aye. You know what I mean? I mean, it's but, just not right. No, but she's also explained that Sonny's demeanor means that he doesn't have to follow the three laws. That's it. Oh, no, is that right? Oh, that's handy to know that. Yeah. Um, but then Spooner goes in to tell Calvin about his story, didn't he? About how he lost his arm. Incredible hope music starts playing. I uh, know. And it's just long story short. He and a wheel are like crashed into the river and a robot saved him because they had a better chance of survival. And that's like his whole issue with robots. 
humans wouldn't have done that and they're cold hearted and calculating, you know what I mean? And you're like, ah, well, logic's logic saved his life, and I can see why he's pissed off at it because aye. a human being would have went for the real assy, of aye. course. And that's actually However, good acting for Will Smith, fair enough, by the way. I could tears up really well. Yep, um, does I like that about him in this one solitary fucking scene? But again, was that trauma? Enough for him to start taking a gun to his bed and a gun to the shower and a gun to the lavvy and a gun to the shops. Aye, well, that's what I'm talking about. There's nothing the to robot suggest... saved his life. Aye, there's nothing to suggest that he's in any immediate danger. But maybe it's the whole suicide thing, you know what I mean? Maybe, maybe he can't live with it anymore, I don't know. But that's that's the one thing that maybe save it. But uh, uh, names of your lasses has been called Sarah and she went to my dentist and he knows everything about her. The truck driver that ran them off the road, his name was Harold Lloyd, who's just like the film star. She remembers that fucking thing, you know what I mean? And Harold Lloyd was about in the 1920s. Aye. Um, but it was an NS4 that saved him instead of Sarah. So, and all because she what was it? She had 11% chance of surviving. He had 46 or something. Aye, that's it. So that's he's like, nah, that, that's that's the whole basis. He's hate for robots, know what I mean? But then he goes and gets a bike. Ah, he gets the old motorcycle. But <laughs> as he's saying to Calvin, in it, I think Landon gave a uh, Sonny secrets. I believe he gave him dreams. Know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Then no sooner we're well, back to USR. It's like I don't mate. <laughs> Back in the US, uh, <laughs> oh. so Sonny draws his dream for them. Then, even to get there, Sonny opens the door, obviously. Aye. And he's like, Oh, so you didn't decommission them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hello, well, hello again, Detective Spooner. Aye, um, aye, it's just, I, you're right, mate. It draws a dream. Aye, that, that was good, mate, because see, obviously. It's been it's a message for Landon, know what I mean? It's not necessarily a dream. It's like a pre like programmed thing put in Sonny to tell Spooner, know what I mean? <laughs> what are you smiling at? Landing, landing, he's done landing. <laughs> I've been he's calling like him that, la- that grin. I've been calling him Landon. Landon. <laughs> yeah, we bacon bit that you are. <laughs> but um I so he draws that. A dream. What, what bridge is that again? Is it? I, mean, I can't remember what bridge it is. It looks like the fucking uh, Golden Gate Bridge, but it's no, and it's right. derelict now. And there's a picture of all the robots get up the hill, and a solitary figure at the top of the hill. So he's like to Sonny. Says, what does it mean? What does it mean? He says, I don't know what it means. All I do know is that the person at the top of that hill is you. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? What? <laughs> <laughs> aye. Uh, aye. And then they soon enough took up to the main office again, didn't they? Getting spoke. Ah, you're not supposed to be here and all this scary one. And then that's when it's revealed that he he also knows that Sonny has free will. You know what I mean? But he's of the opinion it's just one bad machine. We need to get ready aye. because well, we're making too much money with the rest of these fucking eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it's also, as you, you're right, mate, mate, you said it, all the things there. He's in it, he knows the script. But it's also for you to find out that he's no the baddie. He's not in on everything that's happened, do you know what I mean? That's it. But he gets into Calvin's just secret. A bastard. Aye, just like, we need to destroy this because if it gets to, it will destroy people's trust in robots and I kind of get myself another Ferrari <laughs> or, a, or another Audi. <laughs> and you've got to believe me, detective. I only want the best and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm sorry. I'm allergic to bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but this is, this is when actually Calvin's going to kill uh, Sonny with the nanos, the, the nanites, sorry. You know what I mean? You're right. Um, but meanwhile, this just... is going on. Spooner is going to this location where this bridge is, you know what I mean? Where the robots and all that are all stored. And you just hear 
was it Lannan or Landon or La- Landon? Landing. Lanning. Mr. Lanning. Lanning. You hear his voiceover into it, and it's kind of getting you mad about robots. Know what I mean? They're just, they're no, just inanimate objects. Is that like, why when robots are in the dark, they try and find the light? Why when robots are in storage, do they all huddle together? And it's suggesting that there's actually more to robots than them just being robots. Know what I mean? She did, she did two things that you just said there. It kind of gave me a wee shivery. Mm-hmm. But I'm not, we don't have that tech here now, but in the, in the context of the film, oh, did they? Did they huddle together? And, like, humans would they? And I was like, that's yeah. fucking so clever, by the way, to Aye. put that in. Aye, and that's, that's but, just, um, just again, the whole thing, isn't it? Sonny's getting prepped for uh, lethal injection. mind wipes. <laughs> <laughs> Will it hurt? <laughs> But, <laughs> but Dell's found all the the abandoned NS fours by this time in the big crates and all that, and aye. as you're saying, Lanning's talking to him, aye. and they've no thought to switch them off. But aye. <laughs> aye. but this is the thing, isn't it? Obviously, Calvin kills a robot. You know what I mean? With the, the nanites, lethal injection, and all this, you're oh, fucking poor Sonny. And, but then uh, Dell has got the Landon hologram out again, isn't it? And he's asking it questions. And he says to him, Is there a problem with it? See you again, son. I, <laughs> is there a problem with the three laws? And it's practically the problem with the three laws is it's going to cause a revolution. And this is, oh, who's revolution? And it, well, that's just the question, isn't it? And disappears like a fucking mysterious character in a game. Like, what? <laughs> that is the right question. So I have to say to him, that's your son, you're on the right track here, but I can't say anywhere in that case. That's it's fun, not insane. <laughs> and it's just as he said that and his powered uh, program ended, you can hear the kerfuffle in the background, can't you? Aye. You start to see these red lights down by the containers and all this in it. And mm-hmm. as he goes done, you see the new robots are all destroying the old robots. And that's what the, the dream was. See the dream that he's standing up on the hill. That was Landon saying, I'm like, you need to get there and you need to see this happening, sort of thing. So he's like, oh. Then you'll know. Aye. But then that's, that's when you, you see it. It's like the old robots. And see when they're getting destroyed, one of them grabs like Dell and goes, run. You know what I mean? So that's them still trying to protect humans. And that's why these I, new ones are destroying them. I love that bit about it. I, I love that bit about it. Because when he's, when the NS5 notice him and start chasing him, then they all start diving at the, the NS4s, start diving at the containers and protect the human, protect the human. You're like, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I hurt again. <laughs> Danger. Oh. Danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> Oh, superb. Oh, but aye, but it's just, just, just starting to show you, isn't it? Calvin's robot is, has got the red light and it's, no, you'll stay indoors, hen. Gigi, she's not allowed to go to your church, you know what I mean? Uh, no, I think it's better if you stay in the house. And the good thing about Canning, she just accidentally sees her robot erasing uh, a voicemail or something. Aye. She knows who it was. And she, who was that? Wrong number, ma'am. Aye. Aye. Get back in that shower and get all wet and misty. <laughs> <laughs> but this is that the new robots all start showing up, didn't they? And they start oh, coming off. And they start to share a whiff about the place. Aye. Aye. They start imposing curfews on humans, didn't they? Return to your homes and all this shit. And it's a full lockdown. <laughs> then again, another we would to Terminator. They infiltrate the fucking police station. Aye. Uh, they're a wee bit ruthless in the police station and start killing people and all that. Aye, because they're, they're, I mean? they're, they're the threat, aren't they? They're the, the ones with the guns and all this. They need to take them out of the game. Uh, <laughs> by this time, Dell's arrived at Calvin's house, um, took out a robot. Hmm. Um, humans have taken to the streets. Dell still thinks it's Robertson by this time, Aye. even though we know it's no, he's just a greedy cunt. Yep. Um, and then he, save, he saves wee Shia LaBeouf. 
Aye. Flying off the bike. I know, mate. See, that's this was a bit. I'm like, right, okay, okay, action. I'm all for action and all that, but you've kind of, you've kind of went full fucking superhero mode there because they must it's so high up in the air. You know what I mean with this motorbike with two guns? Oh, hand <laughs> cook. I, <laughs> you know what I mean. But it's just I plus the the power grids went down as well, went it? No communication, so nobody's they're all left in the dark practically. So it's a. Uh... A, a robot goes to attack him after the same as we Shire. And then Calvin, keep making the names mixed up, she shoots the robot and saves him. <laughs> and it's quite a funny bit when Shire goes like, yo, dog, she, she shot at you with her eyes closed. <laughs> you shouldn't be with your eyes closed. <laughs> Worked, didn't it? Aye. Aye. Oh, end of the world. There's always time for that joke. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm talking about, these, these red lights on the robots as well, isn't it? And I go like, aye, that's, uh-huh. that's the uplink from USR. We need to get there. And that's like, oh, oh, Robertson must be controlling them. You're like, oh, you bastard. <laughs> they dispel the theory, which you're probably sitting there in the audience thinking right away, what about the army? And aye. he asks that, and she goes, well, the army's got their contract, so no, we'll only work. Mm-hmm. Exactly. This is where I get ahead of myself to arrive at USR and Sonny opens the door and you're like, hey, hey, Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, my boy. You're my boy, Blue. <laughs> Hello again, detective. <laughs> Show me your weapon. No. Oh, no, mate. But they got that bastard stick his turned on a lift staff so they climb up <laughs> on the stairs. Uh, this is 2,000 steps. And you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. But they got up into the robots. And... No a breath. Aye, not a bead of sweat. <laughs> and... his big leather jacket on like the Matrix. <laughs> and aye, Robertson's lying there out the game, isn't he? Aye. The indentation there, like a handprint over his throat, just crushed his throat, man. Aye, aye. It's been it's pan breed the boy. But the next thing, Spooner sits there like, oh fuck's sake. That's I just, I've guessed the wrong person the whole time, ain't I? Vicky. And then that's when you find out Vicky has been the, the, the dirty bastard all the way through this. She's like, uh, She's skying it, <laughs> isn't she? Uh, and she starts doing twirling her own moustache there. Yes. Mm. <laughs> just, and that's when it all starts to make sense that Landon was hiding in his office away from Vicky. And Vicky's interpreted the three laws in. The fact that to protect humans, robots need to be in control. She has to be in control. You need to save humans from themselves, sort of thing. By destroying them. Aye. But like Ultron and all man in it. Aye. And it's just, oh, that's crafty. That's 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 not right, that. <laughs> but then there's a very clever bit which just solidifies Sonny's uniqueness and humanness by him saying to Vicky, you, I never thought of that. You're right. Aye, I can see it now. I can see it now. Then he goes to Calvin and Dell and does, hey, 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 you're good. You're good, you. <laughs> no. <laughs> so Aye. Calvin sends Sonny for the nanites because they realise that the only way they're going to stop Vicky is to put the nanites into her brain, which is this big, huge, hanging fucking ball of energy in the middle of the, the complex in it. Aye, big Skynet looking motherfucker. But <laughs> it's just the whole time in it, they're up there and uh, Calvin's fucking trying to open this hatch so we can put the nanites in and all this and uh, Sonny's running to get the nanites and that, that's when you find out to get the nan- the nanites are behind this protective screen and Vicky goes, I'm not going to drop the shields. Yeah, fucking idiot. And <laughs> That's when you realise that Sonny's got the extra alloy. So he can... That's okay. <laughs> My daddy gave me gloves. Uh, his extra alloy actually protects him through the shield. You know what I mean? Daddy's all pent up in the belly of the beast. That's freak. <laughs> oh, bro. Oh. Man. <laughs> got it there. <laughs> you think you had it bad? I was brought up by freaking Belgians, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, but 
So there's a couple uh, of scenes. Five start scaling the building for the outside, which is quite menacing because there's fucking hunters in them. They just climb up the outside of this glass structure. Do you know what I mean? Hi, hi. Because there's a line for a uh, spinner into it. He goes, um, "How long is this going to take?" And she says, uh, six minutes." He's like, "Well, I, I don't think we've got six minutes." And then it's just the way it pans out. You've got these robots climbing up the building. You're like, "Oh, that's 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 quite menacing." That. <laughs> this is really really well done. Aye. All the while, Sonny's got the nanites to it, and he's trying to fight his way through his fellow robots. Aye. Which is doing a right good joby. Um, there's a stupid bit in it, but when he's in a corridor, he turns into a torpedo. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. But as I said, the robots start attacking into it, and Spooner's shooting at them while Calvin's trying to open this hatch. And like a big crescendo into it. Um, Sonny eventually arrives with the nanites, and it's back to that thing with Spooner and the robot in the car into it. He's telling Sonny to save Calvin and it's like, is the robot going to size up what saves everybody, you know what I mean? Or day what he's telling sort of thing. And it works out different this time, doesn't it? Well, the only thing that's missing for here is Dale going, mm. <laughs> I love robots, Dale. Dan, you're my fucking favourite. You know what I mean? <laughs> Dale. Uses his, his bucky arm to slide down the big beam of light uh, towards the brain. He's got the nanites into you. Aye. And Vicky, it gets to, uh, just in the nick of time. <laughs> Again, all the other like, clone robots are going, boo! <laughs> <laughs> and then he just jams the fucking the nanites into Vicky's brain, doesn't he? Aye. Uh, and that's, that's like the total link. All these machines, the power grid, communications, the whole shebang is now free for control with this AI system. And Sonny has saved Calvin, know what I mean? So that kind of restores Dell's fucking thinking towards robots. And to, You're all right, you. I had it, my GVC, my toaster, and you. But now it's the other way about, mate. Aye. <laughs> No more guns in the crapper for me. What did I tell you? <laughs> Maybe I'm going to bed with my hat on. But Sonny. Yes, detective. I should I show she says, I saved Dr. Calvin. Now come and save me. <laughs> <laughs> but the robots all go back to normal, aren't it? They're all getting shuttled off. And mate, what, what's the deal with the fucking they look out the window? Daylight's coming, then the four jets fly over. I don't know, because America! <laughs> that's, that's what it is, mate. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, it's, but again, then it's, it's still a, a, a wee heartbreak moment here, isn't it? Well, no heartbreak, a wee heart tug. But that's when <laughs> <laughs> Spooner says to Sonny, well, Vicky didn't actually kill Landon, did she? And it turns out that Landon made Sonny promise to kill him to kickstart all this off. You know what I mean? And it's just like, oh, he's Sonny. He gives so much. <laughs> so, and uh, Dill just lets him off, no bother. Aye. Murder. Shakes his horn, gives him a yank on it. Aye. But then it's, it's, he does, that's what Sonny says, what's my purpose now? What am I left today and all that? And it's just Sonny going up to where these robots are all stored and then it leaves you with a question. Are robots like their own thing, own spirit and all that? And now that there's one way free will, is it going to lead them? You know what I mean? Are they going to still coexist? What is it? That's it. Sonny eventually becomes the man on the hill, doesn't he? Uh, becomes Jesus <laughs> day after day, fool on the hill. Sonny, the robots up there standing perfectly still. <laughs> and that was I, Robot. Oh, which was not a terrible film. Um, perhaps a wee bit dated with regards to the time that's now set in, which is only like, 12 years away now. Oh. Um, other than the 31 years away when it was made. But, do you know, as I've talked about it, 
it wasn't overly as terrible as I thought it would, would have been again. Um, a lot of ethical questions in there about morals and free will, emotions and stuff like that. And then obviously the big bugbear on the backgrounds, the money grabber, and then the AI getting fucking too big for its boots and <laughs> well, what you're that's what I mean, mate. Like, To me, you think about it, mate. Everything is all fucking linked up. You know what I mean? You link up your Google accounts, not that to Google, and it's got all your it's got all your search history, your suggestions, your data. You know what I mean? People have got fucking like Alexa's not this and all this, so that's listening to conversations and fucking yada yada yada. You know what I mean? So where does it all go? Does it all go? Um, to be honest with you, the amount of films of this ilk that we've watched, uh, kind of creating this fantasy scenario, which ends in your kind of demise. Mm. In real life, we're then we're fast forwarding towards it. To, <laughs> I'm not extinction, to make it happen, <laughs> no, I mean, I. Somebody, somebody got to fucking to listen to the message. <laughs> but and fucking Jimmy Cameron was onto something, by the way. <laughs> but, uh, but I'll I'll get a six, mate. A six. Um, I'm six as well. That's what I've got my MDB, which I changed. For a seven, which it was a smaller change it into a six, but I it was it was good for its time, good film, worth a watch. It's not horrible or terrible, and the effects kind of oh all stick the landing apart from him surfing the door, surfing the door <laughs> at the mansion. Aye. Yeah. But, uh, before we go into <laughs> yeah, what we're going to be doing next time out. We get a Glaswegian for it. <laughs> no, 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 Oh, fuck oh. you, Metal Mickey. But oh. um, thanks very much, folks, for tuning in. Um, please hit the like and the subscribe. Leave us a wee comment. Let us know what you like, what you didn't like, what you might want us to do in the future. We're open to suggestions. We have a collaboration with Seismic Cinema coming up in the next 10 days or so, which we're looking forward to. We're going to be doing Hot Fuzz um, as part of the Cardetto trilogy. We have already done Shaun of the Dead. Mm. So we have but hot fuss is as good as I put up my wee homage to Doris the other day. And <laughs> what makes you think it was murder? <laughs> I don't I don't mind the midnight gobble. <laughs> <laughs> Cock. Uh, yes, I suppose. <laughs> but... So stay tuned for for that. Um, we'll let you know which, when it's happening and the guys will obviously let you know as well um, I think we'll be recording it about fucking 11 o'clock at night for the sounds of things man because these boys are awfully busy during the day as old people we, we only need to take we only need to have a nap that afternoon to stay up that late mate <laughs> uh, I tell him. Uh, um, just a couple of quick quick off the cuff comments for you mate on the two films that you've seen recently you went to see Scream 6 and what else? Oh, uh, 65. 65. What's uh, your quick hot takes on both films? Um, 65 as much like as an after the, the Will Smith film, but mm-hmm. less like Destiny sort of thing. It's practically just a journey film with dinosaurs. Right. No, I mean, is that. I, I, I seen there's a Jurassic Park them them damnation or something. There's more damnation. dinosaurs in sixty-five than there is in that film to what I watched up to anyway. You know what I mean? Well shit. Oh, Aye. but you watched up to Aye. There you are. Aye. Because I switched that millions half of they, dinosaurs. I switched it half when they go to in the mines or something. I've still not finished it. I can't oh. do it. You know what I mean? Big locust. Huh? <laughs> Inside yeah, that's a lot that's just a side side plot, Aye. man, but the uh, Aye, the locusts were designed for uh, kind of company 
espionage to make me earn money. You know what I mean? You'll only buy your crops. <laughs> aye, aye. Aye. Buff the kid, pish. And Stupid side plot, man. Scream, like I said to you, it's I just I just nitpicked it bits because it just didn't make sense to me in parts of it. Whereas you liked it, and I've seen other people it. say they liked it, but I go and see it for yourself, and then have an argument maybe on your, uh, Twitter because I'll I'll get you fucking beer barrels. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, I'll just say this. I'll just say this. Nobody dies after being stabbed. Nobody. Right? Well, the day it's just there's a lot of people who don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a geeky, but again, like I said, I love the the franchise, and I kind of fucking know what to expect now. Six films in, what mm. we're going to get. Um, I I just I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed <laughs> it. And I went to see Shazam last night, Gods of Fury, and it was absolutely brilliant. I'm not saying it's the next. Nine, uh, nine and a half out of ten or anything, but it's a solid seven five. It's so surprised me because I'm no a lover of the first film at all. I just think it's very draggy and a bit childish and no a lot of great action. I did, didn't like Mark Strong's villain. thought he was garbage aye. flying about in a fucking trench coat, you know what I mean? Aye. Mate, but this just, one. Aye. The first, the first Helen example Mirren. for me, aye, it just seemed a bit childlike. Mere aimed at Wayne's, no, I mean, Aye. that this one is s- strong as hell, really strong. It's great balance, great story, great CGI. Um, Levi's even part is better in it. There's also a cup, there's a, a pure uh heartstring tugging couple of moments in it as well, which grabs you. I was tearing up, so I was. <laughs> um, but I'll say anything on that, thoroughly enjoyed it. Go and see it, even if you don't like the franchise. I've no history with Shazam, even being a DC guy. always thought he was a kind of hmm. like toy selling character, but this was good, Aye. really good. Better than Black Adam by a good bit. Fucking Aye. right good bit. Aye. So, have you decided, mate, are you going to have another wee think and reveal it online uh, or what? No, nah, we'll just jump in, be feet, and just go away, platoon. Because <laughs> I've not watched it in a good while. So, uh, <laughs> uh, we've not we've not done like a pure war one so far in this series. So we'll do it. You know what I mean? We've done Certainly Saving Private Ryan. To that. No day platoon. No, we love it. Aye. Charlie Sheen. Well, oh, I'm not even going to scare the cast. The cast is fucking phenomenal. I Aye. can I can just see Tom Berenger's fucking big chin scarling over. man. <laughs> <laughs> Right, mate, you enjoy right. your day. I'm off, ski. Got to make a bolognese. Yes, enjoy yourself. And for everybody, Good day to you. To Dubai. To Dubai. I'll be the last one left when the lights go out. I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now. We all fall down sometimes, yeah, but that's just life. So cross my heart and hope to die, baby. I was born to f- fight the fear when I feel like dying. I'm trying to fly high, but I'm not a pilot. Can't deny it. There's some days I feel idiotic, just a product of a system where you're lucky. Just-